This Raw Vision video is brought to you by Metro Solar, proud partner of the Richmond Football Club. Yeah, so the start of the season, um, started in the VFL, just played the round one match against Coburg, and then yeah, we had an injury with Troy Chaplin with a calf, so I sort of had an idea that I could be in the mix. It was a good feeling to get named, and it was sort of surreal, and I was a bit shocked to be honest, because it happened pretty quick, so um, yeah, it was pretty special. Nathan Drummond is one, making his debut tonight. Well done and good luck to Nathan tonight. Yeah, running out was a bit of a roar and I just remember the song and, and running out to that and running down to the cheer squad and um, yeah, it was something that I'll never forget and it was a, a really good feeling. So the contest itself, I just remember I was running back with the flight and I knew I had to go for the footy, I wasn't going to pull out. But I just jumped up, tried to put my knees up to protect my ribs and yeah, Nathan Jones was coming the other way and we just collided and I just put one leg out as you instinctively do and uh, I was just unlucky the way I fell. My body went one way and the knee went in the other and my studs got caught in the ground so my foot actually couldn't move either way so that's how the knee tore the ACL. What great courage in your first game. He would have won a lot of respect there but gee, it didn't look good when he landed. My initial thoughts were um, that, yeah, I'd done something pretty serious. They sort of just asked what was sore and I just point, I was holding my knee at the time and I couldn't really speak, to be honest. I was pretty shocked. And Reg assessed it pretty quickly and you could sort of feel that it didn't lock. It was a pretty hard moment for me to take in and while he was telling me, I got pretty upset, pretty emotional as you would. And at the end of the game, it was probably more the boys actually realised the extent of the injury and, and what had happened. They, they were all pretty good and I got a lot of texts from them and a lot of support around the club and it just showed me what, what a great club this is and, and how family orientated we are. It's off the ground, that was a selfless act. Sadly, he won't be able to play a part in the rest of this game, but I wish him well. Yeah, the first probably 48 hours are probably the hardest. It's probably the the lowest you'll probably get other than surgery. I had to go in the next day and get a MRI on my knee just to confirm what a damage I'd done and if there was any other ligaments that had been torn. And it was a, a pretty hard time. I didn't get a lot of sleep and, and just sitting on the couch a lot. And I guess you'd look down that road and see how far that actually is. And I'm only yeah, eight months into it now and I've still got yeah, a little bit to go, but yeah, it seems like ages ago since I did actually do my knee. So as you get on with your rehab, you find little goals to achieve and it does get a bit more exciting because I'm outside at the moment running and actually doing things that are footy related. So I find that is a bit easier to cope with than at the start. Yeah, rehab is pretty lonely. It's probably here earlier and sometimes here later. So you do work sometimes a lot more than what you would out on the track. And you do feel a bit isolated and particularly when the games are on, when you're watching the teams play, I'll watch the VFL and the AFL and I find, yeah, you just really want to be out there and uh, try and help your teammates and you sort of feel like you're in the background a little bit and like the players are really good and they try and keep you included but the reality is that you're not really a part of it when you're in rehab, trying to slog it out to get back on the track. And yeah, it is a really hard road. So I went to the US for about two weeks. Firstly went to New York just for a couple of days just to settle into the time zone and then we caught the train to Philly. Yeah, commenced training on the, on the Monday. Just worked with a, an athletic development person and the strength and conditioning coaches there. So he's worked with um, some pretty uh, good athletes around the world, all different sports. Uh, he had a background in skiing, so he's worked with a lot of skiers. He's worked with Peyton Manning and um, Tiger Woods, so two really high class uh, athletes. first two days a lot about just uh, athletic positions and trying to lengthen my hip and try and straighten my knee back out and then progressed into different things like gymnastics and sprints and agility and, and at the end of the week a bit of jumping and landing which was good because that's how I did my knee so I was a bit nervous doing a couple of jumping things but once I fell and, and got a couple of hits it was a good confidence booster for me. The club hadn't had an ACL for about 10 years so yeah it was a, a new sort of injury for the club uh, having had, hadn't dealt with one for a little while so uh, there's all different new techniques for it and 
go about a rehab process. It's pretty good timing uh, to go over there, seeing as about seven and a half months and looking to progress into training, hopefully next month sometime. Uh, at the moment, just working on some strength and trying to get my size in my uh, quad back up, just the bulk, and also trying to get my leg a bit straighter and just working on speed and agility type focus. And then, yeah, the next month I'll probably work on some aerobic capacity and just building up my running to, you know, eight to 10K sessions instead of four to five, which I've been doing. Once I hit training, just working on my skills and, and then trying to play again, which will be exciting. Confidence is a big thing, I think. Yeah, hard for me just to get back and trust my knee again because just decelerating, it's, it's a lot of stress in your, in your joints and particularly your knees. So I guess as you do it more and uh, the stuff you do in the gym sort of replicate what you're going to do out there. So yeah, the more time goes on and the more you do it, you're going to get more confidence. I do think about coming back and playing and uh, I try not to because I, you know, I don't really know when that is, but uh, it is exciting. It, it'll feel like it's my first year and I'll feel like a new draftee when I do start playing and it'll, it'll take a little while for me to get some confidence back on my knees just to get through a few games and, and get those few knocks and, and really build some confidence out of those first few games which will be good and then yeah I guess as you do new things and you do them a few times you, you forget you just go on as if you don't have an ACL stream or anything. The support around the club's been really good, the players yeah, always ask me how I'm going and how I'm tracking and always interested and also the medicos and the fitness staff have been really good and the coaches are really supportive as well. It's always hard with being in rehab and, and not having you know, the coaches and that always watching and training. They put a lot of time into me so I'm really thankful uh, for what they've done.